So you don't know, it's a wicked thing when the man from Jamaica start reach out on the global platform and start showing them how to do the thing, you see me? Because you don't know, Jamaica is a country where always excelling at any kind of activity or them put them on to, you see me? So we know I got to be the one where I push out first, you see me? And show them, say, yeah, it is possible. And, and we give them the raw Jamaican flavor, you see me? We bring something to the surfing industry where the surfing industry need a different angle, a different flavor, you know? No copy of the same thing. It's something new, something fresh, something where people can relate to, something more groovy, something where people like, something will make you smile, something will make you sleep good at night, you see me? <laughs> Just flow naturally, but you don't know that's the aim of the game, and it's not about fame, it's about paving the path and making it the right way and building the thing. So, we are come give you a little bit of what we, you know, what we have a yard. We are come give you a little bit of the Jamaican experience, hands on, you know, the surfing farm. My name is Elishamo Beckford. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Skateboarding was just one of those things where, you know, I didn't need friends to do it. I didn't need a bunch of people to tell me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. So it was just like freedom, you know? Same with surfing. So I would just go skateboarding all the time, you know? Skate by myself, like put obstacles in the way, all the way over them. I was just, you know, being free with what I was doing. And then more as I got to like be exposed to like outside experiences, like videos of skateboarders from abroad and learn the tricks and you know, how they ride a skateboard, I kind of took things from their approach to it and applied it to my skateboarding. I remember when I started surfing in Jamaica, I didn't own my first surfboard until like five years after I started surfing. I used to sit on the beach, wait for people to surf close enough to land and shout, can I borrow your board? Can I get a wave off your board? You know, can you give me like two waves? And like every now and then somebody would say, all right, you know, two waves, not three, two. And you know, that's how I used to surf. I used to borrow people's boards and get out there. Jamaican surf culture is very infant. It's in its early stages of life right now. And surfing is very hard in Jamaica because of the lack of the industry. Well, we're like maybe one of the newest surf cultures in the world right now. So like that, that's like the Jamaican surf culture when I think of it. Like old boards, you know, kids who are really inspired by the, the, the world of surfing, you know, and what you could be. And it's just like always trying to get better, always trying to improve, you know, but I say it's like very slow and young right now, and to the point where we're trying to make it grow. You know? My name is Ivaluk Alexander Wilmot, and I'm from Eight Miles Bull Bay, Jamaica. Everybody wanna feel like free Forget your troubles and you rock with me You know feel a reggae music sweet yeah, yeah. Skanking sweet For every pain there's a melody Yeah, For every trouble there's a harmony That brings everything together So make we sing together And who said life no order And every man Being able to be in a position where I can help people 
that are in the situation that I once was in is the greatest thing. And it doesn't end with, oh, here's two pairs of board shorts. It begins when all of them have the platform and have the necessary resources that they need to get to the next level and to showcase their talents. So, you know, until surfing is a legit sport in Jamaica, the journey continues.